Ethel was born in the St. Helena Lighthouse when her father, Charles Marshall, was keeper. That was the lighthouse keeper that was dangling off the side. Ethel, are you in the lighthouse? Can you come by this red and black device to let us know that you're here? Okay. Thank you. Is there an Ethel here? Charles, are you with her right now? Can you tell us how many spirits are out here right now? Did you die out here? What? Whoa, did that say spirits, that said in, the spirits in the woods? Oh. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Spirits in the woods. Okay. That was. What did you see, some? Not that I heard something in the distance. We're gonna make you a believer one day, I'm telling you. Don't worry, one woods at a time. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Before we link back up with the other group, Juan and I rig up a couple of trail cams in hopes that maybe something shows up in this eerily quiet forest after we leave. We got 10 seconds. Anything that might explain the cracking branches or strange heat signature we observed. After our initial call and response sessions in the lighthouse bedrooms, we make our way up to the top of the 63-foot light tower and try to make contact with any of the keepers who met their demise here. Are you trapped in this lighthouse? We're not. We're not. So is this your home? Do you choose to stay here? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that That's was it, yeah. clear. Hey, lighthouse team, you guys alive in there? We are actually at the top of the lighthouse. Hey, can you see us flashing? Yeah, I can. Can you see us? Yeah, we're heading to you. I see it. Yep, they're right here. What's up, guys? Yer. Hey, What's come on in. in. Yer. Come here and warm up. Yer. <laughs> Hello. Some of that good stuff. Hello. How's it going? Good. Honestly, safe to say those woods are haunted. Really? We had a branch fall out of nowhere. That doesn't happen in the woods it's often. Not, not in those. <laughs> not in those woods. I'm those telling woods you, were they silent. were the most quiet woods I've they ever been. So no wind, no nothing. Nothing. I mean, I definitely think we can all agree that the island is haunted. Yeah. Or the lighthouse is haunted. I just don't think it's a bad haunting. Would you think that the haunting here is connected to the haunting at on the island, on Mackinac? Something is amplifying this area, and it's just making it easier for the spirits to interact with the living. 